Okay, we're talking about uh, scouting diseases today, and we're gonna start off in cotton. Uh, and so particularly, uh, cotton can have a lot of leaf spots. A lot of them, the majority of them, aren't going to actually cause yield loss or they're not gonna be responsive to a foliar fungicide. The number one foliar leaf spot in cotton you should scout for because that's what determines whether you might need to spray a fungicide or not would be target spot. Uh, so that's the main one I'm gonna talk about right now. Um, looking at the cotton, target spot rarely would develop until the canopy closes. And this is maybe about, you know, 90% closure here. Um, you know, you still get a little bit of sunlight down into, into those rows. They haven't completely lapped. And usually it's not gonna be until they lap that you see target spot. But pretend that these have lapped. If you go out into the, to the cotton, um, you wanna pull the canopy back and look at those lower leaves. And that's where you'll be seeing target spot. And here's a good example. Well, oh, there's a bunch of spots in the lower canopy, but closer examination, they're not the lowest leaves in the canopy. They're all in kind of one layer here. And again, knowing the history of this field, I know this is actually just old herbicide damage. Um, and you know, knowing that, again, knowing what's been applied in your field and having regularly, hopefully, scouted it, you'll know that that's still just old herbicide damage and not confuse it. Target spot, it's uh, larger lesions with concentric rings that gives it its name, target spot. Um, those leaves, a lot of times it doesn't take, but three to five lesions on a leaf to start to turn that leaf a little bit yellow in color and fall off the plant. So the other thing you might notice um, if it catches up to you really quickly is you'll pull back a plant canopy and you'll see a lot of leaves on the ground and defoliation starting along with then target spot inching up maybe towards that middle canopy. Um, recommendation is to wait until you see target spot lesions to apply a foliar fungicide, but still take into consideration what's the growth stage you're in at your field, how much more time does uh, that cotton still have to, to make yield. Um, the other thing is to look at if a uh, target spot, you suspect you might have target spot, but it's in an area more like this. I can just tell you from that, it's not gonna be target spot. Again, this environment in the micro canopy isn't gonna uh, be conducive for target spot to develop. If you see leaf spots throughout the canopy in an area like this, uh, and you know that's a po possible area where you have some potash deficiency, then that's a really good indicator you're probably looking at one of the leaf spot complex pathogens. Um, that can be Alternaria, Stemphilium, or Cercospora. Those three pathogens look very similar uh, on the leaf spots they make, and it usually is throughout the canopy. But those pathogens are what we call opportunistic. They're really just taking advantage of the stressed plants to uh, infect. And you will not get a response and yield to applying a foliar fungicide to those pathogens. Um, it's really just alleviating that stress, which is usually potassium deficiency. Although it could be other stressors, and sometimes, a lot of times, you don't see those spots until later in the season when there's a, a very heavy bowl load on the plant and it's just really trying to pull everything it can from the soil and it's just not gonna be able to get as much uh, potassium as it really needs. With some of the saturated soils we've, we've had in the Mid-South from berry coming through, similarly that satur saturation might have not allowed the plant to take up the potassium it needed, so it might start showing a little bit of potassium deficiency. You might have some leaf spots come on, but hopefully as the soils dry out and that becomes available to the plant again, it'll kind of recover from that. Um, the one other disease I'll talk about too is a new virus, cotton leaf roll dwarf virus. It has been confirmed in Tennessee for the first time in 2019. Previously it's been confirmed in uh, Mississippi and Alabama. We do have other areas, cotton areas in the southeast that are confirming uh, the virus in 2019. It's a very new virus so unfortunately we don't have really very distinct, uh, precise information to give you on it. Um, symptoms can vary um, from crimpling of the leaves, uh, dwarfing of the plant or stunting. Um, and what we found is the only two fields that have tested positive for us in Tennessee, they've actually outgrown those initial virus symptoms. And when you walk into those fields now, um, which one of them is just over here to my left, 
it, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong um, with the, that field anymore. You wouldn't walk into that field and think that the virus was ever in there or is still in there. And so we're still trying to understand. But definitely if you're seeing um, abnormal growth, smaller crinkled uh, leaves on the upper canopy, um, please contact your county agent, uh, contact myself, uh, Tyson Raper or Dr. Scott Stewart. Um, any of us will be more than happy to try to take a look at that for you. Hopefully within the next two weeks, uh, the pathology lab here in my lab will be able to test for the virus. Um, we're trying to get that diagnostic test set up right now. And as more information becomes available to, uh, about that, uh, you'll be able to find it on our newsletter blog article at news.utcrops.com.